Okay, so I uh, also got a, a few blueprints for you all. Uh, there's this one. This is basically just for the glow worms. You can rescale it, of course, and then there are a few options. You can change the color of the glow worms. I'm just going to give it some different colors, and in real time, it will slowly fade between the first two and the second two colors, as you can see here. And you can mix and match until you have something that you really like. It's quite random, so that should work. Also, you can change the tiling of it. There, this way you don't need a lot of decals for it. You can just use one big one and then just change the scaling, as you can see. And this allows you to change the emissiveness. Okay, that's one. Then there's uh, the industrial lamp that uh, Jan Kazar made for his cave showcase. And basically, if you select this lamp aim and you can move it around, there you go. Let me disable the grid, it makes it a bit easier. And you can actually rotate the lamp, which is very nice. Okay. Then there's the fantasy lamp. Ignore the red mark, it always does that when placed. Uh, you can change the color of the light and the, and the lamp itself. They are connected, so that should be fine. You can then change the light brightness for the closed lamp, which basically uh, for a small radius. And then there's the emissive power. How much of the power you want that lamp to have. Uh, the brightness for the regular light and how much radius both will have, and that's about it. Okay, let's say you want to have some fog in your level, besides the world fog, then you can place this blueprint, it's called Fog Sheet. And let's make it a bit bigger. Adjust the color, to get something that's more resembling the colors of the environment. And you can then change the opacity as well as the brightness. There we go. And you can also increase the panning speed. But 0.1 or 0.01 is fine for me, personally. And then there's the fade distance. And basically the amount, the, length, the distance be before it totally fades. At the moment it's 1000. So, at 1000 distance, it will be fully opacity. It has full opacity. But if I increase this to like 4000, it takes longer before it goes to full opacity. You can also make this less, of course, let's say 200. And it will stay full opacity until it gets really close before it fades out. And that's that. Now, let's say you have a hole in the top of your mesh. Let's just make one real quick. There we go. This mesh is specifically made to have some holes in there. And you can also resize it if you want to. There. Okay. It's a bit over the top, but just to illustrate my point, I'm going to get the blueprint called Godfrey. And I'm going to place it here. I'm going to rotate it. There you go. This one is a bit too intense, of course. So let's make it a bit shorter. 512, uh, 700, 800. That looks okay to me. Might want to change the color, of course. So you get something more to your liking. You can also... Adjust the brightness to get something better. And the fade distance, basically the same as the previous one. How close do you get before it fades out? Uh, let's say 512 and stays very opacity with a high opacity until you get really close. There, 
you can also disable the animation and then you probably need to play with some values again and you can always lower this a bit and you can enable spotlight basically it acts more like a spotlight then as you can see let me enable the animation again <laughs> 